Okay, so today we are looking at the GTK browser known as Midori. Now Midori uh, has been an app pick on a certain Linux action show before, but I thought I might mention it here only because it has recently had a rev version to 0.4. And point, uh, with point four, there have been several performance enhancements that I have definitely noticed, um, especially in the speed of the uh, of the scrolling and also the web page loading. Uh, previously, I have had issues with Midori, in, uh, especially when you go to content-heavy pages such as OMG Ubuntu. Uh, it really can start to slow down when you start to scroll around the web page. But uh, this time around, it is quite smooth indeed. As you can see here, it really keeps up to speed with loading all those images and... Uh, comment sections, etc., uh, without any slowdowns, and it's really uh, come up to speed in that regard. Uh, obviously, Midori is a very, very lightweight browser. It doesn't take up many resources at all, but at the same time, it keeps a very elegant interface, and of course, depending on what GTK theme you're using, uh, it can potentially look quite nice. Uh, tab handling along the top here is, of course, very convenient. And, uh, and you can open or close tabs, of course, with the middle click, just like with any other self-respecting web browser. You've got your options down here on the right-hand side, and you've got several different search engines here available in the search box. Now, this is something that is an interesting touch, uh, and that is that their default search engine is a search engine known as DuckDuckGo. Now, DuckDuckGo is quite an alternative to Google in that it does actually uh, secure your browsing inside an HTTPS session, so you are browsing the web securely. Uh, it does have add-ons such as uh, searching for videos or searching for pictures, much like Google does, but it's its own independent search engine. Therefore, the results that show up are very relevant, and as you can see here, you can search uh, the different uh, popular websites. Now, not only that, when you search for something that has an official web page, it'll not only give you the different topical uh, search results, much like Wikipedia, but it will also let you know what the official page is of that particular search result. So as you can see here, we've got different definitions of Ubuntu as well as the uh, the normal uh, search results here. Now I realize this video isn't really about DuckDuckGo, but it's a very interesting service that Midori seems to have uh, partnered up with, at least uh, bringing this search engine to the fore as the uh, as the default search engine. Uh, now here on the Wikipedia page we've got a list of a few features, uh, full integration with the GTK widget set, fast rendering with WebKit, and uh, flexibly configurable web search as we've seen before. We've got support for HTML5 on YouTube at least, and, uh, and I do hope they're working on uh, support for HTML5 for the rest of it, because that's really the only thing that holds this browser back. Uh, the font rendering is very, very nice. All the web pages render out quite nicely. It gets a 99 out of 100 for the ACID 3 test. It did used to hold 100 out of 100, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Yeah, it might just be me. But that is quite a respectable score, and uh, you'll find it quite standards compatible when it comes to all things to do with the web. Flash performance is also up to par well and truly. There is no problems in that regard. And you can link it in with uh, with things like uh, news readers, etc., to congregate any uh, any bookmarks and news feeds that you do want to receive. So Midori is available for pretty much all major distributions. Although it does not have its own website, it does it does like to borrow off the elementary OS. Uh, website as it is a part of the elementary project and as you can see it is uh, it, they do have a link there for the source code for the Ubuntu version and they've even got a screenshot here of it doing a hundred out of a hundred with the acid 3 so that's quite a good indicator very minimalist very easy to understand so I definitely recommend going and checking it out especially if you're disgruntled with uh, any policies that Google might have regarding its Chrome browser but you still want the speed and adaptability of WebKit WebKit is gradually getting better and better, and I feel like this is the first release I can use uh, on an everyday basis without having to worry about slowdowns. Uh, I have noticed it has been a little bit crashy in the past as well, but uh, we'll see how we go with this one. Your mileage is, of course, going to vary depending on what you do on the web, but usually it, the crashes will boil down to plugins and the interaction between the, uh, between the application and the plugins. Regardless, it is a very nice browser, and I definitely recommend it.